Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Our talk today is about the attention that the Ummah gave to Sahih al-Bukhari on two aspects, children and women. Two amazing aspects we see in Sahih al-Bukhari. Number one, children. They study, they learn. And hadith is one of the most important thing. It is the most important after the Quran al-Kareem. At what age a boy or a girl are considered to be valid in their studies and their narration of hadith? It is the age of five. This is taken from the famous hadith of Mahmoud ibn Rabi'a, the Sahabi, radiyallahu an, a brother from his mother's side of Anas ibn Malik, radiyallahu an, who remembered that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam threw water in his face. قَالَ عَقَلْتُ مِنْ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ مَجَّةً مَجَّهَا مِنْ بِئْرٍ فِي from a well in their house and he remembered this he was at the age of five so many parents brought their children to attend Sahih al-Bukhari later on and in the main chain of narration of Sahih al-Bukhari that is to say Isnad we have for example uh, Abu al-Waqt Abd al-Awwal ibn Isa al-Sijzi al-Sufi al-Harawi he studied Sahih al-Bukhari with his teacher Abdul Rahman ibn Mudhaffar al-Dawoodi when he was at the age of seven Abdul Rahman ibn Mudhaffar al-Dawoodi himself studied Sahih al-Bukhari with his teacher Ibn Hamouya al-Hamouyi al saraqsi when he was at the age of six. And probably one of the most amazing examples is the example of Abu al-Abbas Ahmad ibn Abi Talib al-Hajjar ibn Shihna al-Hanafi from Damascus, who was born near 624 and died 730. He lived 106 years. He attended Sahih al-Bukhari year 630 with al Hussein ibn al-Mubarak al-Zabidi, his father brought him, it was documented, and then all the students of al-Zabidi died, he outlived all of them, he was needed, ulama came to him from across the Muslim world, he continued teaching Sahih al-Bukhari till a hundred years later. This is probably the only example we have when someone studied Sahih al-Bukhari at the age of six and then taught it a hundred years later when he was 106 years of age. Many, many other great examples. Now, as to women, we have so beautiful examples of women narrating. From the time of the Prophet وسلم, we talked about this and the companions, female companions, but in Sahih al-Bukhari itself, you have great figures, Karima bint Ahmad al marwaziya teacher of al-Khatib al-Baghdadi. He studied Sahih al-Bukhari with her in five days in Mecca. She died here 463 after reaching 100 years of age. Then you have a beautiful example of Aisha bint Abdul Hadi al maqdisiyya from Damascus who died year 823 and she had the highest isnad of her time. She took Sahih al-Bukhari from Abil Abbas, Ahmad ibn Abi Talib al-Hajjar. And the list of women who took care of Sahih al-Bukhari, narrated it, attended it and became a great authority on it is very long because we have hundreds and hundreds hundreds of female scholars of hadith and this is one beautiful aspect of Sahih al-Bukhari and the attention the Muslim Ummah gave to it. <laughs>